Es ist Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back in the gorilla with Pure Terror this time who just got his gorilla as well. Now, this kind of turned out this way but it was not intentional but we just happened to be both videos on Westfield. Uh, and for whatever reason, my mind went straight to Fresh Prince. You know how the Fresh Prince... Uh, song starts right in West Philadelphia born and raised yeah that song <laughs> whenever I'm on Westfield I can't help but think of Fresh Prince it's weird I know but it's a thing oh uh, look at that it's almost like we planned it and yep yeah, see you there <laughs> you have fun going up to the aggressive spot and I'll be the little little chump over here on the left side that just tries to stay out of spotting distance and uh, do some damage. That being said, this this replay, though me and Terror did do really well, isn't necessarily about me. And you'll see why in a moment. But for now, we're going to have some fun. Because the, I really do like this tank. It's got everything you could ever want with the exception of armor and the uh, turning ability which I've already told you guys about. So, I can see myself playing this tank a lot. I've already played it quite a bit, and I could see myself potentially marking the... Oh, hello, Gorilla. And, yep, got him. <laughs> Goodbye, Gorilla. That's how not to play the Gorilla, folks. Don't just drive out like a crazy person because you have speed. The speed of the Gorilla isn't necessarily to get you into trouble. It's to get you out of trouble. Okay, it allows you to pull out, shoot somebody, and get back very, very quickly. And then eventually, you know, if you need to relocate, you can do so. That being said, I'm going to play a little too uh, submissive and get my butt kicked a little later. And you guys can look forward to that while I talk you through every mistake that I make. Now, that IS-7 made it through. Not preferable. And... Is anybody else going to try? Nope, nope, they know better. They're not going to pull out. It's a shame, because I'd really like to put another 700 or 900 through them. But, you know, it's not meant to be. But, again, as, as soon as anybody makes a mistake, I'm there to capitalize. Hopefully. These guys are sitting back where I can't touch them, but they can touch my teammates. And that's not good. Because you'll see my teammates that are all over there against three tanks are going to get their butts kicked. It's, it's, it's going to happen. There goes one. Wait for it. As soon as these guys reload, they're going to take another one down. I'm fairly confident. But this, I don't like taking that corner early. Because it's good eventually, but early if you take that corner, you end up sitting there a long time fighting a lot of tanks by yourself usually. Um, you've seen it when I was in the Cromwell with Bullvi and him. I mean, it is possible to fight out of that corner, but you generally have to give yourself up more than you actually get out of it. So, it, it turns into a spotting corner, and as you can see, everyone in that corner has now died, including the tank that's right next to me. Now, right here, right at that moment, I should have gotten out of there, but I didn't. I've got a T-30 here, right here with me. IS-7 is potentially a one-shot kill. All I gotta do is line up a good shot, make sure I hit it, and get down. So we're gonna sit here, we're gonna get our camo and our binos up, and wait for these guys to make mistakes. And that was a stupid shot. I deserve to die. But. You know, you're you're entitled to stupid shots once in a while. It does happen. And come on, Spartan, don't miss this one. Really, you shot the ground. That's part of the part of the problem with World of Tanks. That looked like you could hit him, but apparently the ground was a little too high. Good news is T30 didn't have the same issue. Hey, look, a Waffentrager. There goes half your health. Let me uh, reload, and I'll. Ow, that's not very nice. 
<laughs> if you're if you're watching this, Lance, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> we already had this discussion, right? Yeah, pop. Still haven't lost to a Waffentrager in my gorilla. <laughs> it's just funny you happened to mention that yesterday, and then I just remembered that I had a video where I'm fighting one. But that's the that's the killer, you know. I can woo, already slow your roll. Good lord, that's not nice. All right, so I've taken one shot, so I'm doing all right. Ow! Took another shot. Not doing so well anymore. But I did hit him back, so you know we we traded pretty even. His just happens to hurt a lot more than mine. And he may have hit me with a uh, high explosive, but I doubt it because I probably would have popped. Because a 155 millimeter high explosive round, I believe, has a 1400 uh, alpha. Could be wrong. Yeah, that's almost all of my hit points from the start, and I'd already been hit by a waffle once. So, highly doubt that that was a high explosive. Now here I've put myself in a bad position. Good to stop my, myself from getting hit by Artie because I noticed that their Artie was on the left side right there. <laughs> so that's a good news. And that is a mortar as well. That's their FV-207, I want to say. Something like that. But it doesn't matter. Because he ain't going to be a problem for me. That E4? He's going to be a problem for me. And so I roll down the hill. Just to try to help. Come on. I, I gotta get up here to spot these guys. If I can't spot them, nobody can shoot them to help me. So, pop up. Area. Nope, I'm not spotted. Not spotted. Now I'm spotted. There's their arty and there's their uh, E4 again. So, wait for it. Oh, that's the uh, Heavy Metal Hero FE 305. Goodbye. <laughs> Too far forward, sunshine. And, oh, That was a bad move by me. I thought I could sneak a shot in there. I was wrong. But it doesn't matter. Guy comes in and cleans him up. Now. I need to relocate to a point where I'm not going to get shot. Right here. Now, after we've won this side, I should have moved further left. Away from this. Because I know their team is... Rem the remainder of their team is on the right. Now, but the main thing was, I was trying to get to a point... Oh, can we hit him? That was a terrible shot, Spartan. And that's going to cost you your life, and you'll see why in a moment. So, had I hit him there, he would be dead. But, it wasn't. It was a terribly placed shot. I stayed back because I had binos and camo, and I thought that I would be okay, and be able to spot these guys, and be able to shoot them from a distance. However, this E100 gets way too close. And I'm waiting for the perfect shot so that I don't squander another opportunity. And I just let him get too close so that when I fire, I get detected. And... Got him. Didn't kill him, but he would be dead right there had it not been. Now, I'm detected. I've got 500 hit points. Can I get out of here before I get shot? Nope, there's another one. Come on. Dip, dock, 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 and weave. Oh, get the shot into him. There, I saved Terror. Can I get out of here before I get shot again? And... Pow. <laughs> of all the tanks to hit me, it would have to be an M55, wouldn't it? Oh, uh, the sweet karma of all of it. Now, Terror is 1v3. He's got a little bit of a... Uh, Unfortunate situation brewing right there where he's trying to take a tier 9 Conqueror when the Conqueror can hide his entire tank and just stick his turret up. That's not a fight you'll want to fight. You also have the other heavy tank in the base capping. And then the M55 is somewhere nearby because he hit me from a shallow angle. So I would say that the M55 is on top of the hill moving towards us. Um, now, that being said, Pure Terror is going to get extremely lucky. And you'll see why in a moment. But this is going to be awesome. And wait for it. 
He's swinging wide on purpose. He's, he's sticking close to the thing until he absolutely has to turn in to keep the guy behind him from shooting him. Now he tucks in, gets behind him, kills the guy in the cat. That's the main... Whoa! Artie! Get back, get back, get back. Woo! All right. Now you've got a big indestructible building between you and artillery. That's a plus. You know where the Artie is. That's another plus because you get reloaded and guess what? You're gonna outspot him first. The Artie takes a shot at the building for no reason whatsoever and gets himself killed because the moment that 8 inch howitzer goes off you're toast. Now, Terror is 1v1 with a Conqueror. Now, I don't have to tell you that the Conqueror has to two-shot him. He cannot one-shot him unless he ammo racks him. Conqueror on the er Terror on the other hand can one-shot this Conqueror. All we need to do is get the Conqueror to make a mistake. Now, what is the biggest mistake people make? in this game. Impatience. The Conqueror's in an extremely good position. The only thing that could kill this Conqueror from where he's at is the Conqueror by doing something stupid like charging a tank that's quicker than you. Terror takes an ill-advised shot but it turns out to bait the Conqueror into coming over the hill. Conqueror fumbles his shot then tries to ram him and, yeah, that didn't go so well for your sunshine. Now, who's going to load first? Conqueror does, but he had a shot to give. Guess what? Kerpow. Yeah. That got interesting really quick. And then, of course, you know, sometimes it just helps when the reds fumble. 3,900 damage for me, 5,000 damage for uh, Pure Terror. We ended up with seven kills between the two of us. So if you like what I'm doing, punch that like button. Leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.